Hi guys, thanks for joining my YouTube channel. So uh, just a rundown of um, the activities that has been going on. It's amazing um, how many people are coming after uh, Stormy. I'm calling her names, you know, telling her how raunchy and ghetto she is. In the interim of that, they're also telling her that Melody is using her. Every other post that I see is um, telling her to watch out for Melody. Do you think Melody is using you because of your, your business, because she wants to learn from you? Watch out for her. She stabs people in the back. Oh, my goodness. What? <laughs> I know Melody did a live and said, if you think I'm a mean girl, hey, that's your business. She said God doesn't think that she's mean because he keeps blessing her. So I don't know where people are getting this image of her from, but um, they're filling Stormy's head up with it. The other thing that's taken place is that Stormy uh, has apologized uh, publicly and she has said that her and Tiffany are best buddies and that she gave Tiffany a bad rap because she is a fan of the show, although she did film last year, uh, but they didn't play any of the scenes that she was in. She's an avid watcher of the show. So she judged Tiffany based on um, the scene where Tiffany was talking about Munster. And she says she's a new mom. She just had a baby, I believe a son. And, you know, she was side-eyeing Tiffany because she says she can't have people like that around her. And she's, you know, having a new child. And so that's not somebody she would want to befriend. But I guess she has a better understanding of what took place. And, you know, she's moved on from that. So, you know, she says um, Tiffany is pretty dope. And, you know, she says she has a rapport with all the girls. She don't have anything against them. It was not a fight that her and Destiny or Tiffany had on the scene coming up. You know, of course, she said editing, it looks like more than it was. But she said nobody was fighting. You know, there were no hands put on anyone else. So... Um, she says she's seen and talked with them since that scene. So the air is pretty clear, uh, with her and all the other, um, ladies. So the other thing I wanted to point out was that we heard the allegations from, um, Martel about Melody keeping, uh, the kids away from him. And I believe Melody, you know, she's, she's, you know, she's smartened up, you know, she's gotten very smart on us. You know, she just lets things ride. You know, she never combated anything he said. She never came back with her truth and she doesn't have to, you know, so you let the viewer assume whatever they want to assume. And, you know, whether you were in the right or the wrong, you just don't address it. You know, and so again, as I've said in the past, you know, she's at liberty to say what she wants, to share what she wants, and to keep back what she wants. The same with Martel. He could share what he wants. He can keep back what he wants. But of course, if you feel like you are in the right, if you feel like you have the upper hand, if the dirt was done to you, of course, you know, most people are going to share it with the public. And the other person may not. So, um, you know, that was that um, as far as um, Martel's situation. The other thing was, it seems like the Scott brothers have gotten off scot-free with um, the Atlanta trip. You know, they both said that it wasn't what it seemed. They made a big deal out of nothing they were there, but nothing happened. They didn't go there cheating. There was no girls. There were no, um, you know, um, what do they call them? The football. Um, I forgot the terminology. <laughs> I forgot the term they used. Um, however, 
Carlos is asking uh, for people to give their opinions on, you know, what they thought about the Atlanta trip because he is going to bring it up at the reunion uh, since it didn't play out on the show. He said he did revisit the Atlanta trip uh, with Martell and the guys. And um, I don't know what's going to come of that. But so far in our viewing, it seems as if, um, you know, it seems as if the original Atlanta trip is being brushed under the rug. The wives are, you know, pretty firm on that they believe their husbands. They're not going to press the issue. And so that's that. So I think that's all the mystery, um, you know, that we've, we've been uh, wondering about. So I believe that is it um, for the um, the situations that we were waiting on responses for. Um, Tiffany and um, Stormy are fine. So Stormy did address that. Stormy did address how, you know, the fans came for her in a major way. You know, how they said, you know, she's raunchy, she curses too much and all this. And she was pretty, you know, flat out and uh, very transparent. You know, she's gone live quite a few times telling um, the viewers that, yes, she does curse a lot. Cursing is a part of her her vocabulary. You know, she could be versatile. She could put on her interview voice, but for a very short time. She's not comfortable in that arena. You know, she's more comfortable you know, talking with curse words. And that's just what they do where she's from. She said, this is what we do. This is, you know, how I grew up and I am working on it. She says she is trying to work on it, but, you know, it's tough because she's been doing this for years, you know. And she said, if she calls somebody the B word or curse word, it's not the B that you're thinking about. She doesn't mean it in a derogatory word. It's just a term of endearment. So she did explain a lot to the viewers, and I believe they will feel uh, much different about her because she has been very transparent. You know, she also indicated that she knew um, Arion before doing the show, how Arion was friends with uh, one of her employees, and, you know, she never knew anything uh, about her and Martell. Uh, before now. So I think that has covered um, everything. Uh, thanks again, guys, for your time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you.